Hello and welcome to Music Geekery's Creativity Corner. Going to be doing something that's leaning a bit more into the geekery side of things. We're doing some hammer bead stuff of Bomberman. So let's go have a look at what I've got planned out and get straight to it. So last time I made mention of how it's typically a good idea to have a template worked out for any sort of hammer bead stuff that you might be doing. I generally don't have a template, but that's because I'm working off my computer, so I can just quickly cross-reference and everything like that. Um, but as I put my computer to one side, so I've got a clear workstation, and also it gives you guys a good idea of what I'm actually doing, I decided it would be a good idea to have a template done for this episode. Um, there's a few things that you'll probably note. Um, the key one is, and I'll have to bring clothes, so I've got lilac and white as noted colours, the reason being that um, there's a couple of instances of lilac and white, and obviously white is a bit of a difficult colour to show on a white piece of paper. The other thing is that those areas that are actually unmarked, that's going to be a very light grey compared to the others that have already been done. This is to counteract the limitations of the materials I've got available for doing this sort of design work. Um, the other thing is that these colours, well, generally speaking, it's an approximation of the colours I'll actually be working with. Generally speaking, the colours I'm actually using will be a bit lighter than what's showing here. Um, but rest assured, it should hopefully look like some sort of approximation of Bomberman when it's done. One thing I did to prepare for this is instead of just picking out from the tabs, because that seems to take a, a lot longer than normally would, I decided to act, actively separate some of the blacks and greys and the few whites that I'll be using. I'll be doing this with the other colours as well. These will be notified by edits that will be made in the video. Um, I won't make you sit through me picking out the different colours and pooling them together. That would just get tedious. But anyway, without further ado, um, this week I'll be using my standard MP3 player instead of my phone because that's low on charge. Um, but uh, whatever you'll be hearing, it'll be Bomberman related. I'll be hearing something much different because, well, this is all done for a friend. She suggested I do Bomberman, so I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. And outline first. Start from the feet. So the neck is separated. That sounds really all awkward, but oh well.
and then a lighter grey. The handy thing with this is it's just there's a lot of squares in, and oblongs involved so it's very easy to just follow that sort of standard. And that's light grey. And that's white. Oh, oh, come here. All right, and that's those colors done. So gonna cut here and then we're going to commence with the actual brighter colours. Uh, next is going to be the pinks and lilacs and whatnot because that's going to be the quick one to do. And we're back. Just sorted all that out and of course finding hairs. Such is the way of life for me. I mean that's the one thing you can see of me apart from my hands. My hair. Uh, well, it even gets through the beat. But yes, yeah, so going to be doing the red, pinks, and all that sort of thing. So let's get ahead with it. I missed a lilac. And I realised I forgot to do the ice, so I'll just quickly grab a few blacks for that. And that is the reds and whatnot done. So next we'll do the yellows. That's the next quickest. And now to get the yellow sorted. I realised that it's not quite yellow in the actual Bomberman, but this is me working with limitations again. So this is the closest I've been able to find amongst the colours I have. I feel like it's a fair approximation. And finally, going to be sorting out the blues, which I realise is actually going to be one of the longer ones because there's going to be a lot of changing, but simultaneously one of the quicker ones. So watch this space in now. <laughs> 
And now the blues with a bit of red. I realised I forgot to colour one of the hands, but we'll sort that out now. So there's going, as you can see, there's a bit of a sweeping gradient going on, so we'll do that. And done! So, I overcounted how many blues I needed, but better to have more than less than you need. So, with that done, we'll get to the ironing. So, on to the ironing. I'm going to be doing it at a lower temperature than I did last time, because it, there was a bit of a stippling and drip effect going on. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have the same sort of issues I did with this piece because when I was trying to iron this piece it was just constantly falling apart. I'm hoping that because it's more of a solid piece I'm not going to have as many issues and it's going to be a lot smoother but we'll see. Now one thing you might notice is that yellow does tend to melt quicker than other beads. I don't know if that's something to do with the properties of what's in the colour yellow when they put it into the plastic or what, but that does seem to be a common thing. Uh, right, let's see how that's going so far. Oh, as per usual, there's a few that haven't fused yet. That's it. Yeah. Right, so that that area is all fine. Just need to finish off this part. side done. Oof. Ow. just put under a book and we'll go for Old Faithful which will be <clears throat> it's appropriate that this is the key one I'm using to make my work go smoothly because Salamanders, if you're not familiar with 40k, they're the crafters of the Space Marines. Well, yeah, they are the crafters. I mean, the Iron Hands. Well, yeah, Vulcan, the Salamanders, they're all crafters. So it's appropriate that that's what's getting things underway. But anyway, we will come back in about 20 minutes to half an hour, probably closer to half an hour. That seems to be more optimal for this process. And you will see the final product. 
Right, it's been about half an hour, so let's see how it's turned out. And yeah. Yeah, it's nice and flat. Don't have any of the burns. Uh, and yeah, it should be that way around. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm liking how that's turned out. So, yeah. Obviously, this is the very first time I've ever tried doing this particular guy, but I'm happy with how that's turned out. It seems like doing my iron on a slightly lower setting is better in general for how it looks. Uh, some are more closed than others, that's just the nature of... You're gonna find that because different colours seem to melt at different temperatures. It, there's a lot of chemistry and physics I'm not even going to attempt to figure out how to explain, but... Uh, so yeah, as I say... Um... Whilst this is the first time uh, for me doing this character, I do have a lot of different examples for how I can do him and phrasing. Uh, but yeah, so this can end up being any sort of action poses that I've got available. I've got a whole list, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, I will say this much, uh, if you want one of these, um, feel free to comment in the comment section, I'll sort out, um, you know, costing and everything like that. I'm not fully opening myself to com commissions yet, but that will be coming in the next few weeks, so watch this space for announcements where that's concerned. Alright, so... That's it for this episode, catch you next time, I have no idea what's up next, it's either going to end up being another one of these videos because it's really helping with just relaxing my brain, or it will finally be the next one of um, Once More With Feeling, whatever that happens to me. Uh, catch you on the flip side.